All right, guys, Matt with Tier 1. So we're here today for uh, Chance's transmission, doing some updates on his SFI case and uh, trying out a new converter limit system. Converter limit system basically limits the torque converter from building too much pressure when it goes into lockup. And the reason we don't want that to happen is the con converter can balloon. And if it balloons, it usually takes out the pump or it can damage the thrust bearing in the engine. So what we're here to do is basically just spin up the dyno, ensure that our pressures are roughly within what we want to see before we install the transmission into the truck and then let him run down the track with the new transmission and valve body limit system. Can you hear me pretty well even with this running? Yeah. Okay. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, check the oil level on the transmission. We're gonna spin up and put some RPM into it. And once we get that correct, then we're gonna go into our testing to make sure it works. When we first start out adding oil into it, we're gonna make sure the transmission's in neutral. And then we're gonna let it fill up until it uh, gets all the air out of the system and we have the oil level where we want it to be at. We should see some oil start to flow out of the fill tube hole, basically, where we fill the transmission up from. Once that cleans up and becomes solid and there's no more air bubbles in it, then we know we're good to do our testing. This gauge has our charge pressure. This is the return pressure from the circuit, which is also the apply circuit. So when the torque converter locks up via command from the valve body, your pressures will switch. One to drop to zero and the other one to go up to wherever we have the pressure set at, which is roughly 185 to 190 pounds of lockup pressure. Line pressure should be roughly around 260 to 270. So it looks like we're almost there. The air in the system looks like it's mostly out and it looks like it's holding steady on our charge pressures here in neutral. We'll conduct our tests in third gear, see kind of where our line pressure is at and go from there. The RPM we'll conduct this test at is where the pump's a little bit lower in its efficiency with volume. As you can see, we have roughly 270 PSI of line pressure. Our charge pressures are around 150 and 100, which keeps that piston balanced in there without applying when he goes to stall the converter or uh, get the turbocharger up to where it needs to be at before he launches the truck. So you can see I have a little switch wired up here for lockup. As we kick that switch on, you'll see these two pressures right there will switch. And as you can see, they do switch. Our charge pressure drops down to zero and our lockup pressure jumps up to roughly 185 or so, which will keep that converter from ballooning and damaging anything. And I'll switch that on and off with the switch to show you how fast it actually responds. But also, as you can see, our line pressure is remaining constant at roughly 270 pounds of line pressure, which is exactly what we wanted to see out of this valve body. So we basically know that this valve body is designed to have lockup in second, third, and overdrive. And overdrive can also be applied in any gear in this transmission. So I'm gonna pop the switch, overdrive in first gear. We'll see overdrive in second gear. We'll pop it back to third. And now basically if you get overdrive in third gear by the PCM applying electronic ground to the solenoid. But here we obviously still have it in third the same way it would function in the truck. So you can use overdrive on any of our full manuals with the uh, transmission you have built. We'll drop it down into first gear to test the trans brake now. And what you'll see is the output shafts will uh, actually come to a complete stop which is what you can use to bump the truck into the lights for whenever you're staging up the uh, turbo to go ahead and make that launch. The last area that we're gonna check on this is gonna be the reverse circuit, because when you drive your line pressure super high in the forward ranges, you can have a condition where you hit an extreme amount of line pressure in reverse, and you don't wanna do that because it can blow out seals or the side of the case or damage other internal uh, components inside the transmission. So there we go, we're in reverse now. As you can see, our reverse pressure is roughly around 400 PSI at 1,000 RPM, and we want to make sure that doesn't become excessive. So just barely above idle, we have like 380 pounds of line pressure to the reverse circuit. And we're going to go ahead and rev this up on, uh, to roughly 2,000 RPM and see what it goes up to.
So as you can see, our line pressure in reverse is only at 400 PSI. So we have the valve body metering that so we don't have any issues. So this valve body tests out within the specifications that we're looking for so we cause no damage to the main case of the transmission or the torque converter because we have excessive line pressure. We'll drop it back into neutral, go ahead and shut down the dyno and then we'll drain the oil and the next step will be to install this transmission in uh, Chance's truck so we can go do some uh, on the road testing.